Sweets. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Monday. It's Monday so it's another meal prep. I have breakfast, lunch, and a quite interesting yet shocking points versus calories dessert. So I'm excited to share all three recipes with you. So if you are here for another meal prep, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you don't miss a single upload. Check out the description box down below for my recipes. I'll make sure that I link the recipe website at the top of the description box so it's easy for you to get a hold of these recipes as well as all of the other the recipes I've created. Check out Nutrition Coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly, highly recommend. And if you want to chat with me directly, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to everything I shared with you today, as well as all of my other favorite things and my Facebook group, head over and join us there, are all linked down in that description box. So we have three delicious recipes to make. Let's get started. this week I am making chocolate covered strawberry baked oatmeal. I was inspired by this recipe I found online and then we loved those strawberry oatmeal cookies I made last week. So I thought that I would make a baked oatmeal for breakfast along those same lines. So I'm super excited for this recipe. You are going to need some eggs. Again, I'm doing chocolate strawberry. You can do any fruit, any flavor. So I have some strawberries, baking powder, cinnamon, unsweetened applesauce, almond milk or milk of your choice. I have the Lakanto Golden Brown Sugar. This is one of my favorites. I will link Lakanto down below for you with a discount. Lily's Chocolate Chips, salt, and of course some rolled oats. I did go ahead and weigh out 50 grams of Lily's Chocolate Chips before we start putting together the baked oatmeal. We're going to add three and a half cups of rolled oats to a large mixing bowl. One third cup of the brown sugar alternative a pinch of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Give that a quick stir. Just make sure that those dry ingredients get well mixed. We're now going to add in one and a half cups of almond milk, one quarter cup of unsweetened applesauce, and three eggs. and stir together. I'm going to add in some strawberries. I'm just going to slice them in fairly good sized chunks and add those in. And then I'm adding in my 50 grams of chocolate chips and giving that one last stir. I went ahead and greased my 8x8, 9x9 baking dish. I'm going to add in my baked oatmeal mixture and spread out evenly. We're putting this in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes or until the oatmeal is slightly crisp on top. Baked oatmeal is out of the oven. This looks incredible. It smells so delicious. So let's go over serving size, points, and calories. The baked oatmeal makes six servings. Each serving is seven points on the blue plan, eight on the green, and only two points on purple. 281 calories. This is going to be a large serving. You can see how thick my baking dish is, and it is filled pretty darn close to the top. So I'm just going to pair this with a protein such as eggs or turkey bacon and potentially a side of fruit. So this is going to be breakfast. For my lunches this week, I am making a smothered green chili chicken burrito. 
super, super excited for this. So for this recipe, you are going to need some chicken. I'm using chicken tenderloins. You could use breast or thighs, whatever you prefer. Green chilies, cumin, and oregano. Whatever salsa you like. I like mine a little more mild, and this salsa verde from Trader Joe's is so good. Light sour cream, chicken stock, green onions, light shredded cheese, tortillas of your choice, for the recipe points that I calculated, it has to be a one point per tortilla. And these La Banderita carb counter ones are my new favorites and they are only one point or 45 calories per tortilla. Minced garlic, all purpose flour, salt and pepper and some light butter. The first thing we're going to do is cook up our chicken. I weighed out one pound on my food scale. I'm not going to season this at all. I'm just going to get it cooked up so that we can shred it and add it to the burritos. I went ahead and added a couple of cut up green onions and the shredded chicken to a bowl. We're also going to add in some cumin, oregano, one and a half cups of salsa. I'm just going to use what's left in this jar and one and a quarter cups of light shredded cheese and then mix that together. To make our burritos, you're going to need one of your shells, a baking sheet lined with some parchment paper, and of course your green chili chicken mixture. This looks so good. We're going to put a big scoop of the chicken mixture into the middle of the burrito. We need to make six burritos total, so just divide that mixture out equally or as equal as you can into six burritos. Roll that up and seam side down onto your baking sheet. top of our burritos with some non-stick cooking spray. Put them in a 400 degree oven until they are brown and crispy. While our burritos are in the oven, we're going to make the green chili sauce. So in a fairly small saucepan here, I have three tablespoons of light butter and I have my oven set to about medium heat. Once your butter is almost all the way melted, we're going to add three tablespoons of flour and stir that together let that become a roux for about three minutes or so. Then we're going to add in one heaping scoop of minced garlic, stir that together and let that cook for about a minute. Now we're gradually going to whisk in the chicken broth until it is melted together with the flour, butter and garlic mixture. We're going to add in some oregano, cumin, salt, and pepper and then we're going to whisk this let this cook until it has thickened once your sauce has thickened up remove it from the heat and we're going to add in one third cup of light shredded cheese our can of green chilies the recipe calls for the four ounce can i actually bought the bigger seven ounce can just to give it a little bit more of that green chili flavor i love green chilies and lastly one half of a cup of light sour cream so here are my burritos they are nice and crispy and this sauce oh my gosh looks amazing everything smells so good i am going to store them separately because i don't want to add the sauce to the burrito until i go to eat it so it doesn't make it soggy. Now, if you're planning on preparing this for a dinner, you would want to add the sauce to the burritos and then pop them back in your oven under broil to get them nice and crispy and get that sauce nice and hot on top. But like I said, I'm going to store them separately and then warm them up per burrito each day. So here are my six burritos stored and ready for the week. And then my creamy green chili sauce. Oh, I'm so excited for this. So each day I'll pop out a burrito. Either throw it in the air fryer or the oven to warm it up. You can even microwave it. Top it with one sixth of the chili sauce. The recipe actually makes six smothered burritos. Each burrito is five points on blue and purple and seven points on green, just because you have to count for the chicken. 309 calories per burrito. I'm just going to add some fruit to this for a perfect, delicious lunch. You could pop in some vegetables, but this is going to be my main lunch for the week and I cannot wait. For dessert this week, I'm making no-bake cheesecake. 
I can't wait for this. It is five ingredients, no baking required, and all you're going to need is a graham cracker pie crust, lemon juice, one third less fat cream cheese, whipped topping of your choice. I'm using the So Delicious Cocoa Whip. You could use fat-free or light Cool Whip and sweetener of your choice. As always, I'm using Lakanto Monk Fruit. And again, Lakanto is linked down in the description box with a discount code. In a large mixing bowl, go ahead and add your eight ounces of room temperature cream cheese and your softened whipped topping. We're going to add a quarter cup of the monk fruit sweetener and about a teaspoon of lemon juice. And then we're going to mix this with our handheld mixer until nice and fluffy. So there is our cheesecake mixture. It's nice and fluffy and ready to get added to the pie crust. To the prepared graham cracker crust, I'm going to just scoop in the cheesecake mixture. This looks delicious and spread it out nice and evenly. Here's the cheesecake. We're going to pop it in the fridge, let it chill for a few hours until it is firm. And that is it. That is the simplest no bake cheesecake recipe. So for the cheesecake, you're going to cut it into eight servings. And this is quite an interesting calories versus points recipe because cutting this cheesecake into eight servings, it is nine points per serving on all plants. Now that is way less than regular cheesecake. This is equally as delicious. However, it is only 219 calories per serving. So quite interesting, those calories versus points. So for my calorie counting folks, this is a fantastic, decadent, delicious dessert. And for WW, this would be a great dessert to use your weeklies or your rollover points for, but it is quite interesting, as I always say, points versus calories. Thank you for joining me on another WW meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three recipes that I made for my breakfast, lunch, and desserts for the week. I'm still shocked by the points versus calories of that cheesecake. That is exactly why I show points versus calories and have an entire playlist because it can be quite interesting comparing Weight Watchers to calorie counting. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you haven't joined the community, we'd love to have you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell next to it so we never miss a single video. Check out that description box for my recipes, nutrition coaching, my Facebook group, and links and discounts to my favorite things. Happy Monday, have a fantastic week, and I'll see you Wednesday in my What I Eat in a Day. Bye friends.